Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across a fail to enumerate objects in the container error on your Windows computer, perhaps if you're trying to access a file or folder. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to first start by right clicking on whatever folder we're having the problem with. And then you want to select properties. Go ahead and left click on the security tab. And now you want to select advanced near the bottom of this window. Should be a change button right here. Go ahead and left click on that. Now you want to enter in your user account name. So just to the best of your ability, just type it in here. And then select check names. So it should actually get it to exactly what it should be. So once you've entered that in, you want to go ahead and just left click on OK. Now that you have done that, you want to check mark where it says replace owner on subcontainers and objects. So go ahead and check mark aside there. And also check mark where it says replace all child object permission entries with inheritable permission entries from this object. So that's OK. This will replace explicitly defined permissions on all descendants of this object with inheritable permissions from my folder. Do you wish to continue? The folder will be different in your case. My folder is actually named my folder. So we're going to go ahead and select yes. Now select OK. Now that you've done that, we're going to go right click on the folder again, select properties. Again, go over to the security tab. Select system and then make sure it says advanced. Select the add button. Select the principal. So go left click on that. So now you want to type in everyone. And then left click on check names. Once you have that, you want to go ahead and select OK. Check mark where it says full control. And then left click on OK. Again, we are going to give full control for whatever folder we're having this issue for, for all users on the system. So that's why principal is everyone. So just be aware of that. And once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and select apply and OK. Select OK again. And once you're done with that, you should be able to close out of here, restart your computer, do whatever you want basically, and that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.